When Kathy Sabadosa was diagnosed with early stage breast cancer in 2007, she agonized over her options. It was a pretty traumatic and devastating weekend at our house. Patients like Sabadosa may not realize the treatment they get is strongly determined by where they live. As strange as it can seem, where people live can have more influence on the health care they receive than their medical condition or their own personal preferences. There's often no standard way of determining treatment. For example, women with early stage breast cancer in Victoria, Texas, were about seven times more likely to have a mastectomy than those in Muncie, Indiana. And surgery for early prostate cancer was 12 times more likely in San Luis Obispo than in Albany, Georgia. We think uh, the differences as they stand now uh, probably relate a lot to doctors' preferences for one procedure over another, even when both are pretty reasonable options. That's why some hospitals are using a process called shared decision making. Part of a shared decision making. A formal way for patients to learn about all their options. We want them to be so well informed they really get what they're signing up for. Kathy Sabadosa chose to have a mastectomy, a decision she is comfortable with. Having the shared decision making center open to me as a patient really gave me the sense of, wow, I do have choices. Experts at Dartmouth estimate about 20 to 40 percent of elective procedures like back surgery would not be done if patients were properly informed. Katie. All right. John LePook, interesting and important. Thanks, John.